ways to cross from Salford into Manchester. So these are the forerunner to having electricity. Obviously there's gas as well being pumped underground so they've tried that system but it's very dangerous, very volatile. There's a lot of explosions but that's what they were using to uh, light the street lights with. And that's just a heads up to show you there is ways down to the airwell. So boats did go this far. Soon becomes the Manchester ship canal. Underground tunnels filled with gas. Literally just not pipes, <laughs> tunnels like arches and made of brick. Then shut all the doors, seal it up, and it was filled with natural gas. And then you just open a tap wherever you needed it and light it. So it's Albert Bridge, Albert Bridge. I'm just going to film these pumping stations and the water towers over there. full of fish and used to swim in them but remember people didn't have a lot of money and running water was you know not available I think there was only two swimming baths at that time so it's probably full of fish because they came up from the river and you probably swam in it because because you just swam in it <clears throat> bet they ate the fish there you go some of the old light fittings against that building behind it but obviously, there were some absolutely devastating explosions actually, I'm not going to make light of it. But, we're not on that era, we're on the canal era. So that's my introduction. So the canal was here for 30 years, everybody's happy travelling down into Manchester. That's the entrance to Hume Locks. We've crossed over all the major rivers now. Um, another interesting thing, it enters uh, the airwell, but it can't get up into the bridge water without going through the locks. Uh, the Rochdale Canal can't come down into the, the River Irwell without going through the Bridgewater Canal Lock, owned by the Duke of Bridgewater, who charged you. Separate as well, you had to pay down a toll just to drop you down into the Irwell. So a tunnel was built, and Manchester UK, brief videos of time, you may not be completely familiar but as a tribute to some of my older vlogs, I used to always say, I'm not filming me, I'm filming what I'm talking about. We're gonna do a classic style like that. So from now on, you'll hear narration as I film, because there's so many interesting things that I want to get on film. There's no point in me just talking about it, because the idea is to show you. I thought it would be going to in the redeveloping Manchester all the time. So we're gonna plod along into Salford Seats Old University, try and find Pendleton, and find the old route of the canal which is missing and the, the, the part that is there as you will see is a little bit sad so i can't resist having a little view of myself so we're going to cross over the OL and get to the show you where that tunnel would have come out So now we're up at the top of the lock. That led off to the Bridgewater Canal, so you had to pay the toll to go through here and the toll to go up there. So that's the tunnel. And it must have been used. They say it became a white elephant was the term. Because we were charging so much to go through that Bridgewater lock this gate and all the rest of it. They opened that tunnel so they lowered the cost here but it would have been efficient money to use too to get down to the navigation. But one important thing I need to add 
got my jersey on because it's kind of a bit chilly. I did try and get summer solstice, but to be honest with you, it took me a few days because up there we've got clouds where the trains are coming now. And that just disappears. And then over there we've got nice guy. Which is typical of Manchester really. So it's a two part. Last night I was lost. Now I know where I am, but we've done a full ring of all the infrastructure. Come backwards from well, concreted structures, there's tarmac roads, there's electric trains, then steam trains, all the way back to the canals. And this is the first canal to Bridgewater. So in the very early days, most traffic was trying to get on the ridge water to avoid the Irwell navigation. Now you could get all the way down through the Cheshire Ring to Liverpool and onto the Leeds Liverpool Canal eventually when it was extended. And they all used that until the Manchester Ship Canal got built and just brought the ships right in. <laughs> because Liverpool started charging a fortune too, like here. Right. That's everything I think we can head up and hopefully we'll find Salford and we are in time to get a sunset. There you go. So we've got the arches of the railway to the right hand side so I can't, it just reminds me of you know, like the bridge water who's a duke and all the lords and to think that the Lancashire and Yorkshire railway grew from like a farm town up in Lancashire and if you think where they've put that train station the Victoria it's just on the bank of Manchester and it crosses over just before and it leads everything all the traffic from Lancashire basically through there, and then they've got a connection to another train station which links up to the Leeds Liverpool line. So, straight at the start of what it's called, train line mania, steam train mania. They're right in there again, like they were with the Berry Bolton Canal. There you go, these two, three guys set it up. ocean and the rest of the world and from little old Berry this is the way up this is the way we can walk up so the river <clears throat> oh well it's past a lot of inlets and outlets as we know it goes up here through Hume Locks was your way up to the Bridgewater Canal and people wanted access, um, particularly the Berry, Bolton, Manchester Companies Canal. They would have to come down into the Irwell and it's quicker to go via the Bridgewater so they've had to pay. Either way they can't get round. They have to either go through the Bridgewater lock. So that's a basin. I think it's called the Salt Wharf but it was actually used for refuge. So canal boats went in there and they tipped everything down. And that leads out. Leads out this way. All the start in modern Manchester. The start of what would have been the Irwell navigation. There's evidence of that everywhere. Some of the bridges, they all lead over to you know where. 
hot one or the entrance lock to the Manchester Alton Berry Company Canal which is what we are actually here to try and get and it's time to go classic style that is I'm going to be behind the camera I just jump up that one's a road bridge that's a footbridge and these are the original bridges so the Elise Liverpool so just down there's the old cell car they call it that's the modern railway like really modern electric high speed train then I think that's the next addition to the railway but on this bank we're on the north bank there was a train station there which connected to the Leeds Liverpool line which then came straight over the airwell and it enters another train station there which is now the Museum of Science and Industry but that's the first train line ever in the Lancashire Yorkshire Railway Company I've got it you know a foothold for, forever all the way to Yorkshire and everywhere in Lancashire and beyond and it's still running strong as we can see but through here is the original George Stevenson bridge, 1830. So the reason we mention this is because it's the very first steam line ever, and it's within, you know, like you could throw a stone at the Mary Bolton Canal from here, and it's the second bridge there. You can see its arch, just. Right, and I'm just going to walk straight through nettles because this is too important not to film. <laughs> so that's a big wow. So the canal lock is actually under refurbishment. I knew it was, but I thought I might get there. The tunnel that came down from the Bridgewater underneath Manchester GMAX, which is Greater Manchester exchange railway but very soon you'll be able to get round there I could but I'm not going <laughs> to and you can actually see the bridge there the very Bolton Canal <gasps> naughty man look I've come too far to not film this I'm afraid and I'm willing to even <laughs> get arrested <laughs> I am not really breaking the law Right, so that's the original post and that was a, for a freight line which went over which hid this bridge for a long period of time look at that so i'm stood next to the first ever steam train bridge viaduct i'm five meters away from it but this is the happy part so the auto card that comes over victoria to another train station and then connects there now all the railways are linked so you can get to Piccadilly but the originally everyone was different so you had to get off at Victoria or use the connection from Victoria to the other train station or walk in between or be taxied by horse and cart I suppose but obviously now they're all linked the Piccadilly Railway uh, GMAX is no longer in operation but it'd be stupid to not film this now wouldn't it while we're here so here we go. This is the very end video. I'm going to explain something about that now. Also, the River Irk separated the old hamlets. So before the railway went over the top, the Victoria train station, they were separate. And I thought Cheetham was separate of Manchester, but Cheetham is Manchester as well. Which Cheetham Hill is named after the Irk that the Earl who founded. Cheatham, like the library and the school and everything. So Cheatham Hill is part of Salford and Manchester, but it is actually part of Manchester. The oak doesn't separate it. Okay? The oak flowed through it. So all the way down from Middleton, Blakely, Crumpsall, Cheatham Hill. There we are. We're going to cross over there. This is the original way in.
So, over there is Peel Park. I know they can now run this side of Peel Park. And in this area, look, some old type stone yeah, in the centre of Salford, where all the other curbs are just like 60s and 1970s curb. Still got that lovely twilight, you see. Wow, that's working really strange colours, isn't it? Anyway, and over there, we can't get it because of this fence, but trust me, that red brick wall at the back matches up with Perry Bolton Canal Company too. But it could be knocked down and re used as a wall, rebuilt it, the brick. I think that's what this curb is, paying homage. <laughs> but it's very old, it just, I don't know. Because they tend to do things like that, even the builders back in the day, they put, close the canal down. If you build a new warehouse here, and if it went over the top of the canal, they'll save some of the stones for people like me to find in the future. <laughs> and they cut very strange as well. It's like they've just used stuff that was from the canal so far, and you know, surrounding it. It's, good, it's pretty good evidence because the next path along hasn't got the same stone on the curb. It's the same 70s style. I'll just rush along and show you that. So yeah, it's more modern. That's more modern. There you go, normal curb. Also an old fashioned light, but that means anything. Lantern. But that to me is a typical 60s, 70s type. So that's gone over the canal when they've closed it down. And there's just a couple of hints. So, you know what? I didn't realise there were so many grand buildings in Salford. See, I thought I was a bit lost. I came from over the road. <coughs> that's where I got lost the other day. So now I've lost the sky and all my continuity. But luckily, we're still on the same line. You know? So uh, the, the buildings around there are really good. But they like, 1900s, uh, that Greenton brick, they're all red brick, they've all got smoothed off corners and really well built, but they're too early or late, 1900s. This is what we're after, this sort of thing. The red wall again, matches the brick from the canal. And there's a section like this over in Berry with all the stones. Sort of marking the way, and it is definitely in this area, but roads obviously go over it now. So we've got dual carriageway, old wall, more modern housing. Uh, again, old wall, modern road. And even more modern motorway. So no guesses, they're from the canal. I would assume we went through Pendleton and there for the canal. Got totally lost again. But I don't mind. <laughs> I've done it again. But I am actually close, <clears throat> and I'm just glad I found something like that. It's only something that has been knocked down, isn't it? And that's been put in the way. I was about to come to the conclusion, found this house. It's late at night and we can hardly see. There used to be a dog's kennels here, and it seems to be uh, closed down. Still seems to be like a pet warehouse. <laughs> Going there in. I was about to say, I've walked through Pendleton, Pendlebury, right through Salford, and there's no traces of this canal anywhere. So, from where I am now, on Agecroft Road, this is actually the canal. You can tell it goes under the road here, by this wall. I don't know if you'll get it. Down there. No, 
I know this camera is no good and I do have a torch which I never bring but as far as here we're finishing the very bottom canal whether this is a three-part movie whether it's a two-hour movie very bottom canal movie <clears throat> see it over there the matching bricks and it crosses it goes under so i know where to get to now and when we get to the end of this stretch i'll call it a day yeah i've always known it was really. a cemetery and there's an old bridge i think that went over but never had a look at it oh that's part of the um so my aqueduct pipe anyway so we're going to come down here and finish off in the next bit so we got lost at night now we're lost here in part three, I swear, we're going to get that solstice or the sunset or whatever. And we're getting up to, well, we're going to go up to Clifton. Where we're going to walk down to or up from here, I haven't decided. I know we can't see anything. But that's it for today. Tonight. I've got myself lost, but I, luckily I'm a good walker. It shows how much I really do love this canal, to be honest. I've always wanted to trace it all and it doesn't matter if it's at night because I can come back. It's actually hard to believe this. <clears throat> but I got lost here before. You'll see that. It's on the uh, Bolton Very Canal video. Anyway, there's a the crest. It's, I think it's Manchester, Manchester Corporation Waterworks, there's that, that was before this bridge, but it's literally the same thing happened to me, and I came from the other direction, because <laughs> I never saw that, um, but I just saw, anyway, I'm definitely ending, because there's a sign at the end there, Ferry. so I'm not lost anymore, I'm just a few miles away, so I'm going to get cracking, there's nothing more to film. Watermill Gardens, but I'm going to come back and we're starting at this, and then we'll finish Very Bottom Canal at last.